Hi, I'm Randy Schlitter of Rand's Designs, and I'd like to introduce you to the new S20 Raven. Starting up front, we have the Rotex 912 ULS 100 horse, and this is the new engine installation that features the radio uh, features a radiator under slung. It offers exceptionally good cooling and low drag. The idea behind the Raven was to create a plane similar to the S7 but being side by side. A simple plan and to create it we drew from the best ideas from two aircraft. We took the S6 firewall forward and the S7 wing and the S7 tail. So essentially we had to create a new fuselage and in the process we added a lot of nice features. The nice clean landing gear really stand out there made of 7075 T6 uh, CNC machined. The flat aluminum gear have a nice spring but dampening effect and an uh, added bonus is that the uh, fuselage has weldments in two places. You can unbolt the gear and rebolt it back here to make a trike. And up inside you'll see the sockets that are used to receive the nose gear. It's a very clean, simple airplane, uh, fast assembly, a lot of CNC machine parts to assure fast assembly like your boot cowls out of a aluminum sheet. A uh, clever thing about this plane I love is the seats. See how that just uh, slides when I did that? What's going on there is that underneath here, we got some buttons. And when you do that, or when you're sitting in the seat, you just slip this forward, slide the seat, pick up a new station. Pretty simple to do. Another cool feature is to see these little holes. Well, you can pop that pin out and change the recline. You can the difference between uh, all forward recline and all back quite a bit. Some people do like it straight up like that. And then, of course, you can have a setting anywhere in between. Obviously, the most laid back is for when your passenger wants to take a seat. on this plane are really smooth. They've got an array of pulleys that transfer the stick motion. And out on the wing itself, we're using the uh, well-proven new aero servo ailerons off the S7. In fact, the, that's the advantage of using the entire wing off of that aircraft. Not only do you get those neat aero servo ailerons, hey, look at that nice, sexy, beefy bell crank there with those big bearings. No wonder these things just glide. And there's bearings down in there, too. Well, you also get the uh, flaps and a nice 26-gallon fuel system with the flush cap. An obvious feature is this big baggage compartment. It's going to have two zones. Uh, the aft zone from station 3 aft is about a 30-pound zone and then 50 pounds ahead of here. And we'll probably accommodate that with some sort of dividing uh, cargo net. One nice thing about this design is that wide door, 51 inches wide on both sides, and the fact that you can flip the seats like this. And zoom, you're right there into the uh, baggage compartment. So accessing your baggage is not a big deal. Let me tell you a little bit about this S7 wing. It's a uh, masterpiece of CNC machining. As you can see, the ribs are one piece, and they have these little stamped clips on each end. Now, a cool trick is that the spars are pre-drilled, final hole size, as well as the rib pieces. So that makes for very accurate and rapid assembly. The Raven features a fully welded chromoly steel fuselage and tail assembly. And as we said earlier, the tail's right off the F7. Uh, there is one slight modification, though. As you look at the rudder, it's uh, caught, or cut off with more overbalance, and that should give it a little lighter response. But there's also a couple of ulterior motives on that that will allow us to uh, do a classic tail like you see on a Super Cub. And uh, everybody appreciates lesser shipping charges by chopping the tail a little bit like that we can bring uh, perhaps the crating cost as well as shipping cost down. I really like how the doors turned out on the Raven. It has this um, Q 
cute little lever here. This is a stop for it, and this is a lever. The outdoor lever is a streamline. As it comes around and overlaps the tube, it locks it. So to shut it, you just push it down against the gas strut, and that's it. Now while you're doing that, it pushes this rod, locks it in the back. Neat, simple, lightweight. And for those of you who like flying without the doors, which I'm sure many do, you can just pop those two pins out and unsnap the gas strut and the door comes off.